got one more speaker uh, fresh out of because fresh out of the courtroom his name is Brandon Johnson he's from Mineral Wells Texas come on up Brandon I'm Brandon Johnson from Mineral Wells, Texas, as Stuart said. I want to thank everyone today for sharing their stories. I want to thank Stuart for all he's done, putting on the education class that hopefully a lot of y'all were able to get the benefit of. We all have the same sad stories, and we were glad to hear them and get them out today. But we're all here for the same reason, and it's for our children, that we're not allowed to have the influence on that we should have as a God-given right from, that's been taken away from us to be an, an influence in their lives. But we must come together as a community. Right now, as I look out at this crowd, it's very sparse. We must be relentless. Absolutely relentless in making our cause and our voice known. This is not a Texas issue. It's not your own personal issue. This is a global issue. about alienating parents, most importantly, especially from my standpoint of father. It's a war on dads, but we framed it here as equal parenting as it should be because we've heard from a lot of women today who've been disenfranchised by the system because of money. I just got done walking out the advice I was given at that table right over there. It's good that we're out here talking, sharing, crying our stories out. But right there behind me is Goliath. And you're all David. We have a strength by hitting the ground, making personal connections. And that's the way we're going to win this battle. But there's one man that stands between what we're doing today and what we all have to say. And it's going any further. And I don't even know the man's first name. But it's Representative Dutton. Most of us are here today are not familiar with how the system works, myself included. But Representative Dutton has the ability for this, this bill to move out of committee and go through the process. To be relentless, to live out relentless, you must call Mr. Dutton's office daily. Reach out to your friends. Daily have them call. As the phrase goes, blow that phone up. Not literally. This is not a, not a threat, folks. Just make that phone ring. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter if you're in his, in his realm because his decision affects everyone across this state of Texas. And until he moves it out and puts it before the committee or whatever the next process is, it, it lies within his hands. So it... Look, I, I went and talked to Mike Lang this morning. It was great. He's a great man. He, I'm sure he supports us. But it doesn't matter. Be relentless. I do a lot of reading. I've learned a lot over this process, as I'm sure most of you have. Two people. If y'all will just go read and educate yourselves, not on, on the woes of what we're dealing with, 
Two people, Wayne Allen Root, The Power of Relentless, Malcolm Gladwell, David and Goliath. Do that, but never give up. Others have said it, don't give up. We must reach what is called a critical mass. Unless our voice is heard, and unless Representative Dutton moves this out of committee, we're gonna have to wait two years and come back. And in that time period, I intend to do all I can to bring people. We must fill this, this field up or whatever, this pavilion we're in. That's how change happens. It's what Martin Luther King did. That's what all these people who are ranting and raving in the streets, but these people right here, when we file into their office, when we get a whole group of people out here, and in a single file line, they go door to door. We cannot be ignored at that point. Right now, we're not critical mass, folks. And we must take our cause public. Put it on Facebook. Quit crying about it. Man up. Join the community. I do appreciate the love angle. And I do support that. Everything we do, we do because we love our children. That's where our passion comes from. That's why our hearts have been broken in this process. So like me on Facebook, like the other people here, join the community and make your voice known. And tell others about it too. And most importantly, when you go home, the next chance you get, Hug your kids. And for those at home, hopefully this message gets out. Maybe you haven't had your children taken away yet. But the statistic is 50% of marriage ends in divorce. And you'll be one of us one day. So I'll hug your kids while you have the chance, folks. God bless. Thank you, Brandon.